for watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Okay, we're live. Welcome to another Nerd Stalker review. Good morning. This is Greg Blurry, AK Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. Today, uh, we want to tell you a little bit about a new service that we got uh, uh, passed by on the internet the other day, and it's called News Ninja. And today, we speak with Rian Martin, the marketing director of Infigy, uh, the developer of the just launched News Ninja, was launched last week. And News Ninja is a software that kind of analyzes what people from all over the world are saying online in real time believe it or not, and generate stories about trending topics. And uh, we'll let Rian talk a little bit more of that in a little bit. But anyway, good morning, Rian. Thanks for joining us on Nerd Soccer Live from uh, Kansas City, did you say? Yeah, Kansas City. That's right. Very middle of the map. So, <laughs> Greg, thanks for having, thanks for having me on. Uh, I, as I heard, you're the media ninja of San Francisco. Is that right? <laughs> Yeah, that's they call me the uh, yeah the media ninja of SF New Tech. Uh, well, that's another uh, startup uh, uh, kind of tech uh, pitch event that we do every month. So uh, yes, that's sure. what it was. So this is media ninja. You know, it's good we're talking. Yeah, thanks. Anything you want to kind of share with the nerd soccer audience about yourself, Rian? Uh, sure. Yeah, about me. So I'm the director of uh, marketing over here at Infigy. Uh, aside from the pedigree marketing stuff of, you know, the content creation, distribution, analytics, all that fun stuff, I'm really more of a marketing technologist, right? So I push to get, I design, I do all sorts of things. I, I really have a passion for the uh, technology and uh, understanding how everything fits together and how everything works and being to explain it, uh, being able to explain it. So that's kind of where I come from uh, in terms of my role and what I do. No, that's that's cool. Um, so last week, you guys just launched a new product, uh, you know, web web based product called uh, News Ninja. So t can you tell the audience how this product kind of came to be in your mind? Sure. So Infigy is the core company, and and what we actually do, we're a text analytics company. Uh, we're known for social media insights and uh, analysis. So we provide software that does that uh, for big brands and their ad agencies. Um, but essentially, this was a labor of love by our founder and developers who really wanted uh, to create something really cool that used our technology to identify what the internet was talking about at any given moment. So understand what's trending based on what people are saying rather than, you know, just what CNN or, you know, any of the big uh, sites are, are saying is, is right in the world or we should be paying attention to. And Reddit used to be great about this until it got overrun with cat memes and, uh, you know, all these other things. So they really just want to create something uh, that was simple, easy to use, but also highlighted uh, the prowess of the underlying technology. You know, so I was on it just uh, earlier, actually, and um, it, it, it's a kind of an interesting service because usually what I do is I use a, another service like Feedly, or flood or uh, flipboard, you know, if it's on my iPad. But but this is a little bit different when I was kind of going through it because it actually aggregates multiple sources into one topic, right? Yeah, absolutely. So I love Feedly, I love Flipboard, I love all these things, and they're great for really interest-based, um, uh, bringing you, you know, uh, great pieces of journalism based on your interest, right? Uh, this great content aggregation. What this is doing is actually quite different. It's reading all of these millions of articles, all these millions of posts, and saying, okay, here's the common stuff, looking at the headline, the content, and then assimilating those into one descriptive sentence, the headline uh, that says, okay, this is what this particular story is about. And so if you look at it right underneath it on the page, it'll say this headline was generated from stories like, and it'll give you a link to each one of the stories. But if you click through and look at them, you'll see all variety of different titles and different ways that journalists have, you know, tried to, tried to uh, create their headline. Uh, and so it's taking all of this and then summing it into one to really give you an idea of, hey, millions of people are talking about this. This is the gist. This is what's yeah, going let on. me um, actually let's do something kind of crazy here. I actually have your um, service on my web talk, and you could talk on top of it here. Um, you, can you see it right now? Oh yeah, I can see that. 
Yeah, yeah. So you could talk a little bit about the product, uh, you know, as I'm kind of scrolling through here and just seeing what you're, you know, it's interesting. Um, <laughs> we're on all stories right now. And two pe people are talking about two people shot and killed three injured at Ovo Fest after party. Holy moly. <laughs> you might want to talk a little bit about that on top of that if you have a chance. Yeah, sure. So what's interesting here is that the number one story is about, you know, Drake and, and the shooting at an after party. Uh, but with the huge thing going on between Meek Mill and Drake uh, and their giant beef that's going on right now, uh, this is a huge story that the internet is talking about. And once again, this is really highlighting the fact that what the internet's talking about is not necessarily the same thing of what uh, the news channels are, are talking about or, or think are, is important. So this is really just looking at, hey, no, go ahead. <laughs> Oh, exactly. I mean, what's kind of cool is that like it's aggregated from, well, you only show three, but there are more if you click into the post, uh, as you'll find out, guys. But News Daily News, uh, hiphopwire.com. I'm sorry, I don't follow that. But but and, and of course, The Guardian. But but it's interesting. You know, it's an interesting combination of where you guys get all this information. I was just like, I was like really shocked, not shocked, but surprisingly shocked that like, wow, there's a bunch of services that you guys aggregate from here. Sure. Yeah. And what's interesting is in the beginning, we used our ent entire social pipe. So we're constantly collecting social posts from Twitter and all over the place, blogs, forums, everything else. And so originally we used all that content to aggregate it. But the problem was with the right, varying writing qualities on the internet, we were getting some very strange headlines. Um, and we still do that to some extent, but now we've weighted um, the importance we give to authors in terms of building that content in a, a really good descriptive way. So it's really focused on uh, sources with high authority, sources that continually are linked to, uh, people who uh, have you know, demonstrated consistent high quality writing and and are, are publishing a lot so you know you see a lot of websites but it's it's a bunch of different sources it's not just news it's not just blogs it's not just social it's really been weighted based on uh, us giving an importance to a source and being able to contribute uh, to what's you know the stories about what's trending I, I think offline we were kind of talking about that this is kind of to me like the, the equivalent of me turning on my TV or my internet and going to the homepage of like something that see okay what's what's the news today or like TV I guess my morning news or something like that you know and um, I thought that was really kind of that kind of cool how it's a different way of doing it like I said is that I, I'm so yeah. used to like you said the interest based stuff that um, I, 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 it was a little bit weird for me at first, to be honest with you, right? But then after I got used to it, I said, oh, this is kind of cool. So I can like choose, when you get into one of those articles and you see, when you go into their service, uh, newsninja.com, you'll find out how um, actually when you click on that article, like number one, you'll actually get an aggregation of several articles. Now, now your service is smart enough to aggregate the title, right? Is that is that what I understand? Yeah. Yeah, we're, so uh, we're actually creating the title. So it's a computer writing the title based on what it's learned from all of these uh, documents. It's read is the easiest way to describe it. You know? And so it's writing that, but then it's giving full attribution back to the original sources. So you know, if that's an interesting thing to you, we want you to be able to like, go and click through and, and read the actual great content, the journalist coverage of it, if, if there is a great journalist coverage of it and actually go back to the original, but we're just trying to tell you, okay, here, here's the general um, you know, information of it. And then in the future, we plan to extend that by saying, okay, not only here's what the internet's talking about, but this is how the internet feels. So uh, we're known uh, pretty heavily for having uh, really, really strong sentiment analysis or being able to understand um, the opinions people are expressing in terms of uh, positives, negatives, degree, passion, emotions, all these things. And in the future, we want to apply that so we can say, not only are they talking about Drake, but this is how people feel about this article, right? Or this is where it is in the trend. Um, so it's, it's overlaying all these things, really give you a different experience, as you noted, because it's, I want to know what's trending now and how people feel about it. Boom. You know, I'm in line at the bank. I'm, waiting for, you know, my order at a restaurant to come up, you know, all these things. 
Now, now that number that has like obviously we're used to that like the you know the little fire icon, which means it's a trending topic, right? How how was that number generated, or or is it is it a sum of everything, or is it just your um, news ninja trending number? So it's uh, it's calculated in a variety of different ways, but it's looking at the number of sources talking about it. It's looking at the um, how quickly that story is coming up, um, if there's still a bunch of people reporting about it. So a buzz score can go down over time as less people talk about it, right? And that's what helps identify, okay, this is the top story compared to this is what's next. Um, but it's looking at how many people, um, but not only that, representationally within the entire scope of the content, how important do we feel this topic is in terms of um, – how many people are, are sharing it, how many people are talking about it. So it's a yeah. variety of different measures, but it's uh, really focused on, you know, this is where it is at this point in time. And, uh, you know, this is, this is how we've uh, ranked it number one or number five. You know, I, I wanted to ask you, and let's shift to business real quick here, um, you know, before we end the interview, but uh, I was looking at this and like your main business is really kind of um, social informatics, I call it. I don't, I don't know what else to call it, but that's what I kind of call it. That's, sure. that's my term. Yeah. Um, and, um, and analysis. But, you know, this is a free service, right? <laughs> Which is amazing to me. Right, yeah. But, but, but is this kind of the, the, uh, the strategy here is really uh, for you guys to use some of your technology, try out some of your technology on something like this so you have a, a way of maybe improving technology? or Yeah, um, so that's a big thing for us. When, like I said, it was a labor of love, but it was also a test system. And then on top of that, it was saying, okay, analyzing that much text and doing it in real time is a difficult challenge how can we apply our technology and demonstrate that it's able to do that and able to do it, not just, you know, oh, it can do it, but do it really well and, and provide value. And so that's what we were trying to do with it. But at the core of it, we just really wanted to create something cool that people would use that, you know, people get value out of. But yeah, no, you're absolutely right. It's, it'll always be free and we have, we have no plans. It's a, a really cool application of our technology. So, so uh, Rian, uh, you know, tell the nurse audience about uh, maybe the future direction of News Ninja. Is it? Are you guys going to go um, mobile app with this? Are you going to also develop other features that you think um, will improve the service over time? Yeah, so we're developing Android and uh, iOS apps right now. I don't know. We'll see what Microsoft and BlackBerry do, but for now, it's just iOS and Android, uh, and uh, <laughs> you know, you never know. Maybe, maybe, Bla maybe we'll all be using Blackberries in five years again. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> Nokia's you're cool, laughing man. like never, no, no, never, <laughs> never happened. Um, so yeah, uh, apps, of course. But then we want to extend this, like I mentioned, with the sentiment, and then uh, <laughs> uh, the sentiment, and then also uh, where stories are at in trends. So are they trending up? Are they trending down? Are they leveling off? You know, what, what's going on with that? And then really peppering in uh, as much contextual information as we can based on, uh, you know, our text analysis engine. And, and once again, as, as I said, we're, it's uh, a testing ground for that. So, you know, whatever cool features we're introducing in linguistics, we might apply to News Ninja to give people a uh, more detailed view of, you know, what this trending topic actually means to the world. Oh, that's cool. So, well, you know, um, you know, we're going to probably close off the interview, but uh, you may want to talk about, uh, you know, how people get a hold of this and uh, how to get in contact with you. Sure. So we bought the top level domain. So you can go to news.ninja or you can go to newsninja.com. Uh, we also uh, have a Twitter account that we're going to begin populating with automated updates if that's how you like to get your news. Uh, so that's News Ninja tweets, uh, but those are the best ways to to get a hold of it, to check it out, and, and uh, you know we'd love feedback. So uh, shoot us some messages uh, on Twitter. Let us know uh, how you're using it, uh, what you're doing with it, uh, and then one thing to note that's uh, cool that we haven't talked about is it has a past news feature, so you can go look at news in the past from a day, a week, or a month. And this is something that I'm going to be highlighting quite a bit, you know, just as a content piece going out and saying, uh, this month in social, here's what the big stories were that people were talking about, right? Um, so you can do that at any time. We're going to backfill it. Right now it goes back to March of this year. It'll probably go back a little farther in the, in the future. But 
that's kind of a uh, cool thing also that uh, I think it, uh, is overlooked but incredibly valuable. Right. No, absolutely. I think um, I was pretty impressed. I saw that you know, past news feature too, and I was checking it out. So like, oh, I'm on April. <laughs> you know, I was kind of like, eh, interesting. This is what happened in April, right? Things happen. I mean, right. you know, because like, things are like water on the bridge, right? In the in the news area, it just like flows down, and then you're you're done with it, right? Unless another thing pops up that fo or a follow up story of that th that same topic, you know, months later, right? So, but but I think. The way the news is these days is that I don't have the ability to really efficiently do that. So that's kind of that past news story thing is kind of cool, actually. Um, at least I thought it yeah. was. So, so yeah, anyway. I use it quite a bit. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Okay. Well, I'll let you get on with your day. I know it's almost about noontime there at uh, in Kansas City, but uh, thank you again for your time, uh, Rian. I appreciate that. And um, anyway, that was Rian Martin uh, of uh, Infigy's uh, News Ninja, who just released uh, News Ninja last week. And um, to find out if you want to find out more about trending uh, items in the world, you know, check out newsninja.com, News Ninja. Um, you'll find them and uh, soon to be released uh, Android and iOS. And uh, Maybe Windows, but I think uh, they're going to have to hire another development team for that someday. So anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining us, everyone. This is Greg Valoria, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. We believe in tech, startups, design, and you. Thanks for joining us, everyone. And uh, thank you again, Rian. I appreciate you coming on. Thanks, Greg. It was fun.